what's up so this is gonna be the first video of the Jeep series me and my wife have been wanting to build a Jeep and uh, she's always liked XJ's I just kind of wanted to build really anything but we ended up finding an XJ from an auction that is super clean it's got like 200,000 miles on it but completely stock unmolested let's take a look here so this is the Jeep perfectly stock so the heater core when we got it was leaking so first thing we did was put a new heater core in it so that works all leather it's actually pretty nice the engine bay is super clean too but uh, the second thing we've done to it so far is a new headliner because of course the headliner was rotted out on it but you know just the basic things and other than that, it was great running and driving vehicle. Let me open the hood here. No, oh, man, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. But yeah, super clean engine bay. We think it was a government or some type of side government agency's vehicle, as in DHS, but we don't know. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. I need a, <laughs> the battery actually went dead on it. And uh, my little charger that I got won't charge it because it sees such low voltage and it won't even start charging. So I need to roll up the windows. So I need to get a battery for it eventually, but right now I think the first steps is getting this thing basically up as high as I can. So I got some big jack stands from the from the ranch shop. I got these big boys and I got those little guys. But yeah, so I think I might put the little guys on the rear, the big guys in the front, because I'm gonna pull the front side of it first because first thing is first on these things as we've been told is there's jet skis frame stiffeners it's dark over here but yeah got frame stiffeners right there and then we have the iron rock pro link four link in the rear all coil over everything that's going on it so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sick but I don't know, I'm just excited to do it so we should have everything for it there for the lift but we'll still need to get a slip yoke eliminator um, it's gonna need re-geared I want to axle I want to axle trust the front Dana 30 while the rear will have an axle truss with the four link belt in it but uh, I really wanted the front too so I might get that also oh yeah I will need different exhaust oh custom rear front rear drive shaft yeah I can't remember I don't I don't really know much about this this is a learning experience for me so I should have washed it off <laughs> We're mobbing it through the fields, so that's the first step here is getting this thing up on the stands and then I need to get the stiffeners in here and I just got my first TIG welder um, wanting to learn how to TIG weld so I made a, this is my first project was this stand right here which I welded all up and then clear coated so I don't know, I think it turned out pretty sick I like it. I like it. But yeah, that's my my little cart there. 
I really want to do all these frame stiffeners with the with the TIG. I don't know, I might do the rear axle truss with the MIG. I'm trying to stay away from the MIG just because that's just what I want to learn, you know? I'm gonna get started here, see what we can do. Let's go. little ghetto just how I like it going slowly got the rear end one stand I got to throw this other stand up here then I'm gonna start pulling the front up because as I see it the higher this thing is the easier it's gonna be so let's get to it other side now time to move on to the front Got the back way up there. See if we can get the front high enough to match. And Got her in the air finally. Not perfectly level in the air, but it will do. Definitely a little bit of a sketchy front end lift with the, the wood blocks. I mean, it's not that sketchy. I mean, just the right amount of sketchy for me. Yeah, it looks good though. Sweet. Probably gonna start pulling things off now that we're jacked up. But as a side note, the golf cart. The golf cart has been in a fatal accident. Look what's going down at the mall right now. Is that a Metford? Yeah. Wow. Doing some good drifting. Huh. Back to the golf cart. There's a little snow outside. Slid sideways. As you can tell, it tipped over. But at the end of the day, she's still a good, reliable piece of machinery on the car. Nothing mechanical that was damaged. Still have battery switch here. Everything lights up. Fans. Everything's good to go. Our battery's still in place somehow. This looks good. Okay, so back to the normal scheduled program. Today we're gonna try to get the front end pulled apart everything taken off don't really know what order but we'll see once it starts <laughs> 